Sup YouTube official gaming network and welcome to episode 2 of our Mario in Java tutorial. Last episode we didn't really write any code but I gave you guys an introduction and I explained things and what the series is going to be like and yeah how I'll teach you uh, everything or like most lines of code ones that I can understand and yeah so last episode we also created our project our package and our class, our game class, which is going to be the main class, which is going to be our main class. So, right now, in this episode, what we want to do is, well, first of all, we're going to create a frame for our game, because every game needs a frame, we all know that. A game is boring if it doesn't have a frame, like text-based games are boring. So, but before we actually create our frame, we're going to actually set the resolution. Now, if you don't know what resolution is, it pretty much means the size of the frame. So, let's say our width could be 450 by 670 pixels, which means it will be 450 pixels wide and 700 and 670 pixels tall. My bad. Okay, so, now we actually need to create some variables called integers. Now you should know what an integer is, an integer is a full number. So let's go ahead and create that integer. So first we want to type public. Now you're probably wondering what public means. It means we're going to be creating other classes like for example our mouse input, our keyboard, our player, our backgrounds and like our sprites and well, no, mushrooms and power-ups and lots of stuff. We're going to have lots of classes by the end of this uh, series, if we get to the end of this series, that is. And uh, we want to, but the thing is, with a lot of classes, we want to access, we want to access the width and height of our frame from anywhere. Like, we want to access the width and height variables from our frame anywhere, not just the game, just any class ever. So that's why we type public. It means it can be accessed in any class. If we only want to access it in this class, it's going to be private. But we don't want to do that, so we're going to make it public. Then we want to make it static. Now, static means, well, first of all, when we create a new class, we might have to create a game object. So you don't have to type this game equals new game we're creating game objects but sometimes like we don't want to do we don't want to do a game object we just want to just do it right off the bat don't just game game equals new game and then let's say use our width and height and scale variable we just want to do game dot width not just game game equals new game then use game dot width, but with static we can actually use just game. We don't need to create an instance of it, so that's what static's for. Also, so public static final final is uh, pretty easy to explain. It just means once it's declared, you can't change you can't change it. So let let's say if we set it to nine hundred, then we want to say. And let's say we want to put width equal to 600. We can't do that because it is final. When it's once it's declared, it's final. We can't change it. So int or short for integer. I explained that before. And we want to put it in capitals. I want to call it width. The reason I'm putting it in capitals is because well, we don't really need to put it in capitals, but just because it's uh, an important part of the game, it's good to put it in capitals. So I want to set it. Let's say equal to, let's go 270 pixels. You might be thinking, whoa, that's pretty small. It's only 270 pixels across. And that is pretty small, but we're going to actually create a scale for it, which will scale our scale our size up by like whatever we choose it to. So now we want to create our width, I mean height variable, my bad. So I want to type the same thing, public, static, Final int height, and uh, it's sometimes hard to get a good height. So what I like to do to get a good height is height equals our width. 
So if we do height equals width, it means height is equal to 270, but we don't want that. So I'm going to go height, then I think forward slash, which means divided by, because Java, believe it or not, it can do maths, which is uh, very important for game programming. So width divided by 14, then use an asterisk, which is times, times by 10. And that gives us a nice height. Also, now we want to set a scale. So we want to do public static final int scale. I'm going to set it equal to 4. So what this will do is we're going to multiply our width by scale, and that will be the height of our frame. So 270 will go from 270 to about, uh, let me think, uh, 1,000 and... 80, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just doing it off the top of my head. I'm not really going to figure it out. But yeah, that's all we're going to do in this episode because I don't know if I mentioned this the first episode, but I want to keep the episodes nice and short and write on maybe only a few lines of code per episode because I want to really uh, explain everything to you guys. So yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.